What is up guys and welcome back to the Hammer Dance YouTube channel. Today we have something pretty important to talk about. Um, I wanted to talk about this because I'm getting a lot of comments from you guys on like my previous videos, like my OBS streaming videos and my OBS recording setting uh, videos that you're having trouble. Um, and I think it's because that video was a little bit too general. So I'm going to do two more videos. This one is going to be the first one in the series. Um, this is going to be focusing on the best OBS settings you guys can use when you have like a low to mid tier, um, you know, budget friendly PC. So basically any PC PC that's like I would say under $600 your PC would fall into this range and I'm going to show you the best OBS settings that you guys can use for your streams if you have a PC like that um, it'll run smooth it'll run flawlessly you will not have drastic like FPS drops in your games um, and you'll be able to stream just fine so this video is going to focus like I said again on those low to mid tier PCs or what most people would call budget gaming PCs all right guys so hopefully you guys enjoy this this will help you out because I know that there's a lot of, you know, discrepancies going on here. You guys are commenting on the other video saying like, this isn't working for me. And then a lot of you are saying like, this did work for me. Um, and I do now realize that is because a lot of you are using, um, you know, different, there's, there's tons of you watching these videos. Um, so you're all over the place. Some of you are using really high end PCs and some of you are using really low end PCs. Um, so this video will cover the low to mid tier PCs and then I will do another one that focuses mainly on people with super high end PCs. By the way guys, if you do enjoy these videos that I'm putting out, please be sure to like the video because that lets me know that you guys liked it and it helps me a little bit in the algorithm, gets more people to see the content and ultimately it helps grow the channel. If you guys do enjoy these videos though, please be sure to hit that like button on the video, subscribe to the channel, turn on those post notifications so you don't miss the next time I post a video. I usually post at least once per week um, and if you guys have any questions at all, I do try and answer almost every comment, so drop that down below. If not, though, you can come ask me any questions you want or just hang out with me on my live stream at Twitch. I will drop a link to that down below this video as well. So without further ado, guys, let's dive into the video. Alright guys, so here we are. Here is my OBS. I'm just using a basic scene from my stream setup. Um, we're going to dive into the settings right now, and these are going to be the settings that you're going to use on a low to mid tier budget PC for streaming. All right, so first thing we're gonna do is head over into settings. Um, just do a brief rundown here. Nothing we're gonna really change here in the general tab. You can change the theme from light to dark if you want. I keep it on dark. I like dark. Um, stream tab, obviously this is where you choose your streaming service and the server, very easy stuff. I'm not gonna do a full on tutorial here. This is more about the settings for your stream. So head over to the output tab. This is where, you know, things get pretty important. So we're going to make sure that we're on the streaming tab here. You can choose the advanced uh, output mode up here. That's what I have. Um, I can't choose anything right now because I'm in the middle of recording, but keeping that on advanced just unlocks some more settings for you guys to use. Um, so generally that's a good idea. So we're gonna be in the streaming tab here. The first thing we're gonna wanna do is you're gonna wanna make sure that you're on the NBank H264 encoder. Um, this is extremely important and this is what's going to help your PC use its resources the right way. So you're not gonna be dropping frames as hard as you would be if you were using the X264 encoder, which uses your CPU for the encoding. Um, so if you have a more modern, I'd say within the past few years, um, gaming PC, even if it's a budget one, use this setting because this is what you're gonna need. So NVENC H264 new encoder is what we're setting it on. Don't rescale your output here at all. Just leave this box unchecked. When we're downscaling, we're gonna use a different part of OBS. So we're gonna come down here and for rate control, we're gonna keep that on CBR. Um, for bitrate, I have mine set to 6,500 um, and that's mainly just because I stream in 1080p at 60 frames. Um, you do not need to set yours at 6,500 because what we're gonna do right now is set your stream for 720 at 60 frames, which should be easily achievable with any budget gaming PC. So your bitrate, we're gonna change that. Make sure you come down here and change yours to 3500 kbps so this will be a little bit easier on your internet connection as well um, next thing down we're going to head over to keyframe interval you're going to want to put this on two it's going to bump the quality up a little bit and then for your preset here you're going to put it on quality if you get encoding overload errors with it on quality feel free to drop it down to performance but i would start with quality because you might be able to get away with it and it will look a little bit better okay so keep it on quality um, I'm going to just change it so that you guys can see exactly what it needs to look like for you. Um, profile, you can keep this on high. That's not going to affect it that much. However, lowering that down to main could help with your performance if you get some encoding overload errors. Like I said, guys, it's kind of hard to get this for everybody. The settings go for what specs you have in your machine. 
um, and I don't know exactly what every one of you has in your machine. I'm just trying to help out. That's why this is focusing more on the low to mid tier PCs. So we'll drop that to main for now. Um, you can check, look ahead, check psycho visual tuning, GPU zero, max B frames on two. And again, guys, this is for streaming. This is not for recording. We're gonna go over to audio. Um, this stuff should all be perfectly fine. This is where you're gonna select your audio devices. I'm not gonna get into that right now. I have other videos that um, can help you guys fully set up OBS if you need it. This is more focusing on the settings for low to mid tier PCs. Uh, okay, so next, video tab. I can't edit anything in here currently because I am recording using OBS. So it locks down all the settings, but basically you're probably playing on 1080p um, if you have a low to mid tier PC. Um, I have a high-end PC and I'm still playing on 1080p. I love 1080p. I'm not a fan of 2K and 4K gaming. It's just my personal preference because I play a little bit more fast-paced competitive games. But right here is, this is pretty important because you're going to come to the output scaled resolution and you're going to hit this drop down. You're going to select 1280 by 720. Okay. And what that's going to do is that's going to take your 1080p gameplay and downscale it to 720p. Now you may be thinking, oh, like it's going to look like crap. That's not, that's not how this works at all. Uh, most people who are watching Twitch streams are not full screening it. Um, they're watching it in a video player. So you're not getting that full 1080 uh, pixels. So you're not getting that full, you know, 1080 amount of pixels anyway. Like there's just no point. So downscale it to 720. And what this allows you to do is it allows your PC to encode it properly. And the video is actually clearer than if you had it on 1080. So trust me on this, downscale it to 1280 by 720 in the output scaled resolution tab here. Down, downscale filter, um, you can put this on Lanxos and if that is too much, you can put it to the middle option, um, but should be fine with Lanxos. And common FPS values, make sure you set this to 60. So now you'll be streaming in 1280 by 720 at 60 frames per second. It will look good. Trust me guys, I know like you, you just want to force it to 1080, but trust me, Forcing it to 1080 is probably making it look way worse than it needs to. It probably is going to look better on 720 and just take my advice on that guys and do it, please. So when you're done here, this is gonna show base canvas resolution is gonna be 1920 by 1080. Output scaled resolution is gonna be 1280 by 720. Lanxos, 60 FPS. You guys should be golden with those settings. Um, so honestly, like that, 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 that's the most important thing here is a lot of people try and push it to get to that 1080, 60 frames, but there's no point because if your machine can't handle it, it's going to just look choppy. There's going to be artifacting in the video and it's going to look blurry and horrible. All right. So there we have it. I hope that actually helps you guys out. Um, you know, so for, for those of you who have low to mid tier, um, PCs and you want to stream, you now can, and I hope that you're having no issues going forward, but if you are, feel free to drop some comments down below in this video and I'll try and help you out there. Um, and if we can't get anywhere there, feel free to head on over to my live stream. I stream Mondays, Wednesdays, and Friday nights, and sometimes Saturday mornings, um, 8.30 p.m. Eastern Time. Saturdays around 11 a.m. Eastern Time. Um, I'll drop a link to my Twitch down below in the description of this video. Um, a lot of the times you guys come in there and just ask me some questions and we hang out and have a good time. Um, so if you can't get an answer in the comments down below, just head on over there and I'll be sure to help out. But if you guys enjoyed this video, please be sure to hit that like button. That lets me know that you enjoyed it. Subscribe to the channel and turn on those post notifications so you don't miss the next time I post a video. But all right, guys, that's all from me. So I want you to keep your hammers up in the air. I'll see you next time.